Contextual intelligence is an exciting topic to talk about. Few things can actually have as large an impact on our performance and our leadership than learning how to navigate the complexity and the chaos around us. Listen, I want to be one of the first ones to tell you that chaos is good, complexity is good. Chaos is the package that your potential arrives in. And when we in encounter chaotic or complex situations, we need to be able to reframe our thinking to understand that this is an opportunity for success and opportunity to recalibrate how we lead, how we decide, how we problem solve. All right. Top performers are contextually intelligent people. Regardless of your industry, regardless of, of the market that you're in or the marketplace, top performers practice contextual intelligence. Contextual intelligence is about navigating your environment and it's about understanding and believing that chaos is good. Navigate the complex world if we want to take advantage of the full capability of chaotic systems and we've got to understand chaos is an opportunity for me to lead better to recalibrate the way i think to recalibrate what i'm doing how can i practice contextual intelligence in a meaningful way before i begin to unpack all the workshop ideas and all the the nuances of 3d thinking hindsight insight and foresight the 12 behaviors of a contextually intelligent person, um, the, the three meta competencies of contextually intelligent thinking, all that stuff is going to be great and tons of fun. But before I do any of that, you can begin to become contextually intelligent just by practicing these three things right now today. RKA, recognize, know, and adjust. Contextually intelligent people recognize when their environment has just shifted. They recognize when certain variables have been brought to bear in a situation, brought to bear in a context that causes a shift in that context. You recognize that. I'm surprised and you probably will be surprised to find out so many people fail to even recognize that their environment has just shifted. So we need to teach you how to recognize when the environment has just shifted and what variables to look for as more some of the more common variables that shift. But once that shift has occurred, what's the second step? The second step is knowing what is now important or what the metric of success is in the new context. Because with every shift in environment, with every shift in context, comes a new metric for success. You have to know what that metric is, what that new criteria for success is. Think of it as currency. When you go to another country, if you don't have that country's currency, you can't transact business. And every time the environment shifts, whether it's a small one-on-one -on -one interpersonal connection with somebody in the office, or whether it's a huge departmental uh, uh, shift or change, regardless of the size of the shift, a new currency is always required for you to be able to transact business in that shifted env environment. So we recognize a shift has occurred and we learn the skill sets associated with that. Then we know what currency is needed in that new environment and then we adjust our behaviors to practice those new metrics or those new expectations for success. In other words, I need to find the currency. I need to find a way to exchange my current currency for the new currency. And that can be an ongoing process, maybe even several times in a day, several times in a single meeting, perhaps. So you recognize, you know, and adjust. Those three things can help you begin to practice contextual intelligence right now today before we start unpacking any of the details and the nuance of contextual intelligence. So I hope to see you in the workshop. It's going to be very insightful. I promise you it's going to be something uh, leadership focused and leadership based that you probably haven't thought about before. I'm